Have a seat. You sit down and throw that. <laughs> Kyle, you've got the best no. story here in Cleveland, man. There's no question about it. You did not wrestle last year. You were not on Kent State's team. You were not a guy that was on the roster. You were not active in the sport last year. You are in the NCAA semifinals. You just been the number one guy in the country. How does it feel, and what's this journey been like? It's awesome. This is, this is. I feel amazing. This is the greatest feeling in the world, and I'm so glad I have everyone, pretty much everyone here, supporting me. And I feel like that just drives me to do so much better. And I'm so grateful and so thankful I had another opportunity to do this. Thanks to my coaches. I really appreciate everything. Thanks to the administration at Kent State. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Describe your, your move to get the pen. Um, I want to say he shot in, tried to get a high crotch, and I stuffed it. And I came up with double underhooks, and I feel like he he wasn't a guy who wants to go upper body. And I just jacked it up. And when I when I locked that up, I felt it. And I threw it, and I was not letting go of that when I got him down to the mat because I wanted that pin. So. I just did what I had to do. Took care of business, took care of it fast. I've been visualizing this for the past few days, just pinning him. No joke, you couldn't stay, sleep. You championship. What, what, is, what does this compare? This is, this is 100 times better. <laughs> and this time around, there's way more people here for me. So, feels feels great. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle you, you were, uh, were you, you're from Ohio. Um, Age-wise, how close were you? Or was there any history? It's a two-part question. Was there any history between you and Colin in high school? And the uh, second part of the question is, did you get any look at all from Ohio State? Were you recruited by Coach Ryan or any of the staff there? No, no, no. Um, no, I had, I had no relationship with Colin. I mean, I've seen him, seen him around, never really talked to him. I mean, he seems like a nice guy. I mean, we haven't really had any conversation. Everything's been friendly between us, any little interaction we've had. So, um, but you saw him in high school at tournaments, just never really wrestled. No, I didn't see him in high school. Oh, really? Okay. No. So I didn't go. I didn't go to like when I was in high school. We didn't go to a lot of big tournaments. So as a freshman, you just missed All American. How much was the drive there? Even more this time around because you just missed last time. Um, it was there. It was there big time. Um, myself, I hate. I hate trying to wrestle back in the uh, the constellations, which is what I had to do at the conference tournament and uh, I kept telling myself I wasn't going to let anyone take this from me. I was going to All-American this year and I, I achieved my goal and now it's time to, for me to let loose and do the best that I can. Ashtabula, Ohio. Six, you said 60 miles, I think it's more like 50. Dead east on the shoreline of Lake Erie. Okay, your school hasn't been a school for 20 years. Lake's at no, the I newer school, like right? 2001. They, yeah, they like consolidated combined. two schools, yeah. right? So you look at that, and they're, they're asking these questions. Where did you see Coach Ryan? Well, Lakeside doesn't go anywhere, yeah. right? What's your toughest tournament in high school that you guys even go to besides the state? Uh, Kenston. If, if they Kenston's still go there. the toughest tournament you go to? Yeah. And that's, I mean, you see a couple of ranked guys in the state there. Like my senior year, I didn't wrestle anyone ranked up until states. Like the state tournament, I didn't wrestle anyone who was ranked. Kyle, I don't know your Why did you not wrestle last year? Um, it was a combination of things. I had some injury problems. I had some issues I had to work through, and wrestling just wasn't part of that equation for me. So, last the last Kent State semifinalist, Ian Miller. Is that, does that even occur to you that it's been that you know been three or four years since since you guys have pushed somebody through? Uh, yeah, it was two. I think it was two years. Yeah, two years ago. Um, but uh, yeah, it definitely occurred to me. Um, I mean, I want to do better than that, obviously. I don't want to just stop at the semifinals. I want to make it to the finals. So um, I'm just excited for that. I'm ready for tonight. I'm, I just want to do the best that I can for uh, Kent State. And I feel like I'm doing that right now. I just got to get a couple steps higher. So. What were you doing with the, in your, 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 your off? What were you doing? Were you wrestling? Were you practicing? Were you doing anything? I wrestling? did not have any involvement in wrestling at all. I did not watch wrestling. I didn't think about wrestling. Did you have your, have your intention of coming back this year? What's that? Did you, did you have every intention of wrestling no, this year? No, I had zero intention of coming when back. When did you make the decision to come back? Uh, almost the end of summer. So it was around August that I decided to, to Were make you shape. Or did you feel like I was terribly out of shape. I got up to like 255. So. <laughs> Coach, Coach Hale and Andresi, they've been a huge part of getting you back, drawing you back into the sport. and You, you were done, man. It was over. You know? We, yeah. we, we, we were done. We were like, man, Kyle's a great guy, but 
he'll, he'll just be a nice guy and we, he won't wrestle for us yeah. for Kent State anymore. But but they drew you back. Talk about the, the coaches and, and the staff bringing you back in and drawing you back into the sport and, and relighting your flame, your passion for it. Um, right before I ended up leaving, uh, Hill said, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you back. <laughs> and uh, we didn't talk for a few months and and uh, they kind of just, just let me be, let me do my thing. And I realized that I wanted to come back and they were open arms. They were 100% for me coming back. They try to put no roadblocks in front of me, and they're really supportive of me. They've been really extremely supportive of me this whole year, even though I've had ups and I've had really bad downs this year, wrestling-wise. Everything else has been up and up, but uh, they've been they've been amazing. It's been it's been awesome, and I love being with these guys, and I love coming in the room every single day and being able to work with them and talk to them and and everything. And I'm just so happy and, and grateful. Kyle, besides besides people who are involved with the Kent State wrestling program, coaches like Zeb just said. There's usually some people behind that are part of the journey, whether it's, whether it's mom or dad or a sibling or, or a high school coach. Who, who, who's, who's, who would you like to give credit to as really having been part of this journey with you, um, especially during your, you know, some of the valleys that you've experienced? Who's really um, there's been, I mean, there's been a ton of people. Um, I mean, I can try to hit them all, but um, my mom has been extremely supportive. My dad, whether like whether I'm whether I was with it or against it for wrestling, wrestling wise, they're with me. Um, my high school coach, he's been he's been with me obviously since I was in high school. So he um, he's here today. So yeah, he he came he comes to my tournaments. Doesn't even let me know sometimes. <laughs> but um, uh, everyone, my girlfriend, her family, my whole family, just everyone around me, my my teammates. I'm just so I, I mean everyone around me is just so supportive. Zeb here, <laughs> everyone. No joke. Last one for me. The, okay. uh, um, you said Coach Ryan, Ohio State program, <coughs> didn't really chase you. You weren't recruited by them. Besides Kent State, was, was there interest some, from, from some schools? <coughs> there are a couple schools. Um, see, I committed I committed kind of early. I committed before my senior year. Okay. But uh, I was looking at schools like Virginia and, and Penn. And um, I was really going to go to – I was look, leaning towards the other ones, and then I went on my visits, and Kent State felt like home. So – even when I wasn't wrestling, I was continuing classes at Kent Beach just because I love Kent, and I had, uh, I had no, no, no. Um, sorry, I had no intentions of leaving the school at all. I had no intentions of transferring out to wrestling. That's that's one thing they asked me before I quit. They're like, um, you need to let us know now um, if you want to go anywhere and wrestle, and then we can release you. And I was like, no. Uh, if I ever come back, it'll be here. So that's what happened. Gerard James, so let's talk about that. He got kicked <coughs> off the team last year, right? The administration, Coach Andrew tried to bring him back. <coughs> he transferred this semester, and he just won the NCAA Division III for, for Mount Union. So that was a teammate of yours, right, that you wrestled with. <coughs> yeah. Did you, when you see that, is that like, hey man, I could do that? I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised from him. I, uh, I mean, all, I mean, no joke. Every single person on the team said this kid better win a national title, or <laughs> I mean, this kid better win a national title because he has it. He has the, he has athletic ability. He has, he has like the. He has a really high wrestling IQ, so I'm not surprised at all. And congratulations to him for that. Who you got tonight? I'm not sure. Michael <laughs> All right, Kyle. Good luck tonight, man. Thank you.